Hello. Hello. Mm. Welcome. Welcome to the Metroid Prime Remaster. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, I've actually just taken a screen grab of what my control panel is set up like. Oh, wow. That looks amazing on a monitor. I've, I've only played it on handheld so far, and I've just put it onto my monitor. Oh, my goodness. That looks good. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, on my stream information control on uh, OBS, it has Metroid Prime Remaster, Stand Back Ridley, I'm beginning to morph, go live notification, it's morph and ball time. And then for some reason the bots come up saying, yeah, we're playing Cassette Beasts again. Well, no, nah, I played Cassette Beasts the other day. And we're going to play it on another day. Oh my god, this game looks fantastic. It sounds fantastic as well. But the music is just flawless. Um, so just to preface, to those who don't know, I have played this game many, many, many times in the past. I owned a copy of this back when it released. Um, I think it was back in uh, 2002 this came out. Um, so I owned a copy not too far away from uh, the release point. Um, I've played a lot of it. I've played a lot of Prime 2 as well. Prime 2 is my preferred game of the two, uh, but obviously they've not remastered that one yet. But Prime 1's a great starting point. As far as Metroid games go, Prime is very close to being flawless in a lot of ways. There's a couple of points where it falls down, and they didn't quite refine it in the right way on Prime 2. They, it was good, don't get me wrong, but they didn't ever quite hit that 100%. Like, I'd probably say that the 97, 98% scores this game gets quite frequently. They're probably about right. They're probably about right. Can I turn this up on my... Hmm. No, my headphones are already at maximum. Alright, that's fine. Right, we're going to jump in with the new game. As you can see, I have already started um, a save previously. 5 hours 19, we're at the phase on mines there. But we're going to jump in with the new game. I'm going to be reading all the scans out as well. So this, the stream save is probably going to take a fair bit longer than uh, me just blasting through the game for a laugh. So, we're going to jump straight on in. Oh my god, it looks phenomenal. Like, it looks good on handheld, but you put it onto a monitor? Oh my word. It's lewd. It's actually lewd. This is 18 plus content. <laughs> well, obviously not really, but... Um, yeah, it does look fantastic, doesn't it? Let me know how the audio levels are as well. As long as, every as, long as everything sounds good, then... Um, you know, I won't try and tweak too much, but if, if we need to bring the game audio up, then I've got a bit of space to do that. Okay. The cosmos. In the vast universe, the history of humanity is but a flash of light from a lone star. The life of a single person should be lost in space and time. But among the stars, there is one light that burns brighter than all others. The light of Is something bleeding through my audio? Her battles extend beyond her life and etch themselves into history. Here, another chapter of that history will be written. Is there some audio bleed coming from someone? My mic capture seems to be picking something up, but. Yeah, it does get like that. Um. There's probably the, the problem with my capture card is there's sometimes it sometimes does stutter into a bit of audio lag, and there's nothing I can really do about that. I'm afraid to say. Uh, could be stream lag. There's there's some audio bleed coming through on my input capture on OBS. Let me just tweak my microphone down a bit see if that controls it. It might just be my troglodyte breathing. Oh my god! The, on a monitor. This is pornographic. Holy shit, look how good this looks. Like, can I be cross about Prime 4 having no news for as long as it has done when this looks as good as it does? I, I don't know if I can. I genuinely don't know if I can. Na, 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 na. Right. So. We... This switch is directly connected to the force field barrier. 
Ah, this force field blocks the entrance. Something nearby must be able to deactivate it. To those who don't know Prime, scan visor. Um, energy force field in place, you can't reach your gunship. Scan visor is how you learn about the world and how, how stuff works and what to do. Um, there's also, I think, a, an achievement for achieving 100% scan, which is really hard to do. Uh, there's some stuff where it's very, very easy to miss. This force field blocks the entrance. Cannot deactivate the force field on the switch to red. This switch doesn't seem to be operational. Control panel on the pillar in this room can turn it on. So it's a bit of just an easy tutorial, um, and it will tell you how to do stuff. Um, something else with Prime is if you faff about in an area for too long, it will actually tell you where to go next. It will tell you what your next objective is. Force field activation switches are online. There we go. So the scan visor can turn stuff on, as you've just seen. That's pretty essential to progress. Right, okay. I love the new control scheme. I love the new control scheme. Oh, I tried to double jump just then. I haven't got the double jump yet. Oh, I didn't realize you could do that. I didn't realize that you could shoot the asteroid. That's a that's an excellent touch. <laughs> we love to see it. Hang on. There's probably a... Yeah, there's scans on all of these doors. I think this is one of the reasons that maybe I've never achieved 100% scan completion. Because it's very easy to miss these as you're kind of bezzing about in here. There's all scans like here as well. Uh, so, we are investigating this distress beacon. What will we find? Anything there? No? Entrance to the airlock. Well, let's go to the airlock then. What is that? Oh, hang on. So I'm up a little Chrisser floating about there. Oh, it looks minging. Door cannot be opened until the airlock's repressurized. Alright, let's repressurize the airlock. Nice. Entrance to deck alpha. Let's go. So, just in case anyone's wondering, I have done a bit of remapping because there's a bit of awkwardness with the controls. So, normally, your beam is on your left trigger. Oh, sorry, right trigger. And your missiles are on your right bumper. Whatever they're called on, on um, Switch. Now, there's certain stuff that you do later where actually having them like that is really awkward. So, I've rebound missiles to my right back paddle. Yes, my controller has a back paddle. I'm a uh, borgy like that. It does make a big old difference. Ugh. Morphology Space Pirate. Status. Death caused by severing of the spinal cord. New creatures entry. <laughs> Hello. Morphology Parasite. Interstellar vermin that travel in swarms. Indigenous to Talon 4. A single parasite is harmless to larger life forms. However, they tend to travel in large groups, swarming over potential prey, and such swarms can be dangerous. Deck Alpha Access Hall. Biohazard Materials. Phase on batch 009.A. Destination Deck Beta. Biohazard Materials. Phase on batch 0142.A. Destination Deck Beta. Ooh. That parasite's gone. Morphology Space Pirate. Status Death caused by severe flame damage to the exoskeleton. Ooh, bit minging. Morphology Unknown. Info. High levels of radiation detected. Well, we don't like the sound of that, do we? Analysis shows incredibly large muscle structures surrounding the jaw area. Fluid sacs containing acid are also detected. I didn't realize that my sister in law was in this game. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> Biohazard materials. Phase on patch 0073.8. Destination Deck Beta. I guess we're going to Deck Beta then. That seems to be the candy shop. Ming in. Morphology Space Pirate. Status Death caused by acidic burns to body. Chemical type unknown. Ooh. Escape pod entrance. The vessel's already been jettisoned. Evacuation occurred six hours prior to your arrival. Okay. Oh, we should scan him. 
Morphology space part status weak life signs detected. Imprints of large bite marks can be seen on the exoskeleton. So, uh, yes, basically every single scan I'm going to be reading through. There's a lot of lore in the scans. Tail section possesses a mouth like orifice, most likely used for birthing offspring or for being incredibly brave with. You didn't hear that from me, kids. Entrance to deck alpha umbilical hall. Okay. Yeah, the thing with the scans is that there's loads of information in them, like especially the logs. Um, it's well worth reading through. Use your charge beam to destroy rubble. All right. Wait. Ah, there's a scan there. Cheeky, cheeky. All those debris are stripped in the hallway. Looks like it can be easily removed. Space pirate. Death caused by excessive blunt trauma to the cranium. Oh, like how I got my brain injury. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's my brother. Entrance to map facility. Okay. Oh. Where are they going? Them cheeky little blighters. Uh, we won't read the stuff that you know that's like on the other side of where we've already scanned, right? All right. We go down through here. Whoop. Ooh. Two parasite queen specimens have become volatile on deck beta. All security personnel should report to the biotech research area. Uh oh. Parasitic infestation has been detected in the ventilation system of decks gamma and beta. Yeah, no shit. We've seen them already. Talon 4, ground zero area secure. Crater radiation readings normal. Crater, you say, huh? Frigate exterior hull stable, fully functional. Alright. We'll scan the map station. I won't read through stuff that's obvious. Map station gives you a map. Right, it gives you a map of the area. It's pretty straightforward. You know, if you, if you can't figure out what a map station does, you know. Okay, so this is a really straightforward map. There's a bunch of ventilation shafts we're going to have to bez about in. Ventilation tunnel to nav room. Yes, I, I think we've already reached there. We've already reached the nav room, so let's not worry about that. Uh, this platform doesn't seem to be functional. Something about turning it on. I wonder what could turn it on. Maybe if Lionel Richie sang to it. I mean, to be fair, that would turn it on. Uh, again, you didn't hear that from me, kids. <laughs> you didn't hear that from me. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this section is basically just a long extended tutorial as to base controls for the game. Ooh, juicy. Specimen containment breach on deck base or crew report from lockdown. Okay. Energy conductor is damaged. Use caution when approaching the arcing of electricity. I think we shall do that. We don't want to get shocked in the bum. Okay, we morph ball through there. We're going into the biotech research area then. All right. Specimen cell B, status unknown. Rejection of phase on compound detected. Ooh. Space pirate, severe internal damage detected. What about you? Uh, both legs of this creature are broken. Goodbye. I don't know why I didn't just missile him. Oh, he's dead. Goodbye. They're dead. I laugh upon their corpses. Ha 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 ha. Specimen uh, cell A states hibernation. Transference of phase on batch 0081D complete. I think these space parts were up to some nefarious bullshit. Morphology unknown. Low life size detected. This creature appears to be in a state of stasis hibernation. It looks very much like Dragon from, um, from Super. Kind of cute, but also kind of minging. After mutation, the carapace of the lab becomes rigid. Carapace is quite resilient, able to resist the attacks of many predators. Okay. Parasite egg in pupa stage. Tough exoskeleton protects it from its mother's acidic embryonic fluid. Jesus. The fluid sacs in the mouth enlarge after mutation. This allows for increased production of corrosive bile. Okay. Combat mutation applications are complete. The primary legs of this this creature possess galvanized tips, allowing it to penetrate any known alloy. 
please, please do not penetrate me. Please, please don't do that. Entrance to deck base is security hall. I don't think we can get downstairs yet. This door has been sealed to print radiation leaks. Well, I, we should probably be glad about that. Alright, we're going to head on down. We're going to head on down. Ballistic support needed specimen block F. So these guys, these guys. Uh-oh. Uh, also turret. Use missiles to break out some casing. Well, that's easy enough. So it's something that you can do on uh, Prime Remaster, because of the way that the um, because of the way that the system works, where you've got two different um, two different methods of firing, rather than like I think in, in the GameCube version, it's like you had to hold down a button to select missiles and then you'd fire. But in this one, you can you can kind of go shoot missiles, uh, shoot missile. You can can you can cancel the missile reload animation with a a normal power beam shot and that means you can you can get some real increased rate of fire on them it's pretty sweet phase on infusion stage one parasite lava diagnostic mass 1.2 length 0.5 cell structure is stable oh boy pirate data entry download to the log book uh log 09.992.3 zebus has fallen all ground personnel are presumed dead Either killed by the hunter clad in metal or the subsequent destruction of the underground facilities. Our research frigates Orpheon, Syracus, uh, sorry, Syracus and Vol Paragon were in orbit at zero hour and managed to retreat. Frigate Orpheon is now docked at Vortex Outpost. Orpheon's cargo appears to have a 100% survival rate. Metroids are held on a restricted feeding schedule due to uncertain supply status. We're ready to begin research on the Metroids and other promising life forms. Security status remains at code blue. No signs of pursuit from the hunter. Surprise! Phase and infusion stage two, using infusion to tank. Uh, complete. Okay. Infusion stage three. Mutation initiated. Lava is stable. That's a parasite lava. We've already scanned you. Uh, plasmite. They're annoying later, but you know. Also, turret. Ah, we turned off the turret. So that you there are ways to turn off turrets in this bit of the game, which is kind of nice. Save some effort. Infusion stage four. Lava diagnostic, mass 14.5, length 40.3, cell structure failing. So basically this stuff makes these things go into massive mutation mode. So this specimen has been horribly mutated, there's no life readings. Okay. Uh, specimen cell, st cell structure failing, batch 0732.c does not match DNA, terminating infusion sequence. We don't love to see that. Um... Phase on level unknown status. Xenotropic life form unstable. Use caution. That is a side hopper from Zebes. I recognise it. You can hear it roaring at us as well, right? Infusion analysis 12.5. Phase on batch 0003.h increases the acid production in the saliva ducts of parasite lava. We don't love to see that. Infusion analysis 10.2. Uh, specimens exhibit incredible strength and body mass increase when exposed to batch 0732.c. The experiment 435.8. Biofilm pain tolerance levels are 13% holding. 13% pain tolerance doesn't seem very high. Uh, biohazard waste removal will begin in 3 hours. Phase on radiation readings must be reported to deck commander before batch disposal. So basically, phase on is the bad shit. Elevator will go up. So when you actually scan every single thing in this section, it does mean... Oh, it's a space pirate. Uh, severe internal damage detected. How about some external damage? There's a zoomer. Ah, Okay, okay, zoomer. You spiky boy, zoomer. Oh, it's another pirate. Brain hemorrhage detected, aim hindered. Hinder this. <laughs> okay. Solitary holding two, phase level toxic, hermetic seal holding. Uh, so, war wasp, these dickheads. Uh -oh. Space pirate, minimal injuries, maximum firepower. Ah. 
So you can use the charge beam to pull power-ups in as well. That is a plated parasite. They're annoying. Solitary holding three. Status is normal and the hermetic seal is holding. All right. Ice shriek bat. Oh, grim. Solitary holding five is empty. Oh, hello. Acid burns have welded the joints of the exoskeleton. Well, how about you weld yourself into death, bitch? Ah, he's dead. Right, let's go through here. Okay. Ah, there's some stuff on the walls. Uh, ventilation covers may be superheated if airflow is restricted. Unusual thermal readings should be reported to the deck engineer on duty. Okay. Security codes and also turrets are changed every lunar cycle. Using improper codes may result in turret activation. Oh, beautiful. We'd love to hear it. Obstruction detected re reactor ventilation system. Engineering crew reports a freight lift corridor immediately. I guess that's where we're going, huh? Uh-oh. Where's my... Ah, I'm pressing the paddle, not the lock on. I was pressing the wrong button there. Embarrassing. I was pressing the back paddle and not the left trigger. Um, Pirate is death. Uh, he's died due to severe lacerations to his abdomen. I don't see any, but okay. Oh, he's sleeping. He's a cute boy. He's not a cute boy at all. Alright, let's open up this. Right, down we go. Down we go. He's been lacerated in uh oh. Minimal entries, maximum firepower. That. I should have missed on him in the chops, really, but all right. Door lock is enabled. Insert metallic sphere to continue. So we use the mothball to open this. Pirate died due to removal of his internal organs. Oh, lovely. Energy now flows through a series of locking mechanisms on the door's surface. Active power line trails away to an open clamp on the floor. Well, I guess we're going in here then. Okay, we kill. No, we want to use the charge beam to pull these in, don't we? Nice. Okay, cool. There's a safe station in there. Pirate died due to acid burns to his face. Pirate died due to severe lacerations. He's been partially eaten. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, device is not functional. Something about turn it on. Okay. He struggled to get through the door. He's also dead. Door lock enabled. Insert metallic sphere. Okay. What about this kid? What killed him? Uh, he died due to cranial trauma. Lovely. I like a bit of cranial trauma. Save station. Replenishes your energy, lets you save the game. I mean, there's not much more to say about these. The main difference in the save stations between 2D Metroid and 3D is that the save stations on Prime will regen your health for you. And they regen you to full, at least on this game. It's pretty nice. Also, we've got the Morph Ball. We have the Spring Ball, because we're apparently playing a remaster of the Wii version. So you can jump in the Morph Ball, which is a massive quality of life improvement. I'm not used to that. I'm actually not used to that, because um, GameCube Prime, you don't have that, but you just do not have that. So being able to jump on the Morph Ball is amazing. Oh god, all these pirates are just dead. No life signs. What's going on in here? What's all this about, then?
Oh, it's kind of like how they did the intro for um, Z57 in Dread. Okay. Blimey! Sounds just like my mum. Uh, Parasite Queen. Parasite female genetically enhanced by unknown means. Weak spot is detected in the creature's mouth. Use also targeting to acquire the new target. Scans indicate the presence of post-up mutagen origins unknown. Creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon-grade blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite genome. Here's the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Nice try. Nice try. Come on, fate me. Fate me, put up some challenge. Oh, she's dead. Not a single point of damage taken. Beautiful. Get murdered. Oh dear, she's fallen into the reactor. That doesn't seem good. Evacuate immediately. Evacuate immediately. Anything I can scan in here? Evacuate yeah, there's scans to do on these doors. You know. All right. Boop. So the doors are going to seal behind us. All right. Let's go. We're escaping. Also, turret is offline. Love to see it. Ooh. This creature is deceased. Creature's incubation period was prematurely terminated. Its shell had not fully hardened. Yeah, it certainly looks deceased now, doesn't it? Right, out we go. Can I lock onto you? Sir, do you mind? Oh, there's a thing there. Specimen cell C unknown. Rejection of phase on compound. All right. Oh. Okay, into the vents we go then, I guess, huh? Uh oh. We're just gonna run past these dickheads. Ah! Oh god. Well, they, they don't seem to be damaging us, so that's fine. Run, run, run. Go away. Oh, they do a little bit of damage. They don't really do very much. Oh, I've not got many missiles left. That's fine. We don't need to worry about missiles. We don't need no missiles. Let's go. Run, run. Ignore the dickheads. I don't, I don't think there's any scans left to do. Uh oh. Give me the missiles. Come on. I should. I need to get used to having that paddle set. I'm pressing wrong buttons to use to it.
Run, run. Come on, Samus, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the incredible looking primary master. Oh my god, this game looks so good. Oh, the, the remaster is so phenomenally good on this. Ah, okay. Uh-oh, what's that? What is that? Well, to preface, I've played this game loads as a kid. I've played about 30% of it on a, an off-stream save, and it's still so good. It's amazing. Like, the, the, this remaster is fantastic. Just hands down excellent. Oh no, Ridley got away. How could this happen? Okay, so we can do grapple swings. Anything to scan here? There's something to scan over there. Whee! No, no, subject matter Ridley, cerebral casing stable, exoskeleton seal holding, begin umbilical retraction. We hate to hear it. Oh, I will, don't worry about that. Weapon update complete. Stinger Ballistics online. Plasma Fuel Cell online. Yeah, that's fine, man. I'm just glad. I'm just I'm just happy you swung by. You know, it's always nice to see a regular in the... Uh, oh, don't want that electric to be... Fucking about. Access to Deck Alpha is approved. Let's go. Oh, man, I hope that, I hope that clears up for you soon. There's nothing worse than a minging headache. An absolutely grim headache. Oh no, my suit. Where's all my stuff gone? Dang it. Could be now. Various suits malfunctioned. Morph balls mal malfunctioned. Missiles have malfunctioned. Charge beam malfunctioned. We've lost all our stuff. We've lost our grapple beam as well. How's that fair? Come on. Come on. What are you taking all my stuff for, man? I'm just a little guy. Come on. Entrance to the main docking bay. Right. Room's depressurizing. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. Come on, Samus. Let's run. If only we could sprint. That's the only thing that I think Prime is lacking. Is some form of sprint functionality. Because there's no speed booster. Uh, I think they weren't able to make the speed booster idea work without it kind of being a bit of a perspective screen. I can understand. I can, I, I can understand. Okay. We're on our ship. We're getting the hell away from uh, the frigate. Yeah, I can imagine. Work with a headache sucks. There's nothing worse. Oh, look at the space pirate corpse is just floating up into the ether. Right, let's chase him. Yeah, food, water, and rest. That's that's my suggestion. Tracking on enemy targets has been lost. Ground-based recon required. Begin landing sequence. Okay, we're into the main bulk of the game now. Welcome to Talon 4. Ah, the landing site. That location is just timeless to me. Hopefully it'll be timeless to an entire new generation with this remaster. Right, we're at the Talon Overworld. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. Is it coming? I don't know. Uh -oh. Okay. We're on Talon 4 now. This lichen seems to be giving off low levels of radiation. No matches found in Flora and Fauna Data Bank. That's our gunship. Hunter class gunship, registered to Samus Aran. And as you'd imagine, you can um, save your game there. Talonfern, non-toxic variety of silo 
talent and says, uh, commonly found near water sources. Oh, I fell down. Went boom. Fell down, went boom. So yeah, there's platforming in this game, but it's like non-sucky platforming. Like it's actually platforming in an FPS that is done kind of reasonably well. Maybe one of the reasons that this game is so beloved. Like it tries, to, it tries to do something that most uh, most games struggle with real badly. So let's go. Uh oh. Ah, beetles! Burrowing insect with a resilient carapace, extremely aggressive. The massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rock high speeds. Above ground beetles can cover short distance rapidly, and they attack anything that moves near their layer. However, they also die very easily, very, very fast. So, that's fun. Saturnine smaller innocent mushroom grows in dank, dark regions. Uh, I mean, yeah. Maybe that means it's like the weed or something? I don't know. Guide stem, pervasive indigenous species of bioluminescent weed. Fair enough. Gives us some light to see by, so that's fine by me. Uh, sap sacks. Chemical reaction with sap produces violent explosion when agitated. Because of its irresistible odor and sweet nectar, the sap sack was nearly now of existence. The evolution of an explosive chemical sack saved it. Now only braver and genius creatures dare to devour it. So basically, we could we could blow up saps. Boom. <laughs> right, we've got some other creatures wandering about. We've got blast caps. Volatile chemicals are just weeds toxic. Fungal cap may explode if agitated. Poisonous flesh of the blast cap keeps it from being eaten. It detonates its fungal cap when it senses even slight contact. Basically, don't touch them and blow up. Zoomers anchor itself to walls and other surfaces. Avoid contact with spikes. A basic nerve sensor located directly above the zoomers' mandibles to detect nutrients. Sharp spikes protect it from casual predators, but the lack of a reinforced carapace makes the zoomer vulnerable to any indirect attacks. Uh oh, beetles! The stone surface is like and grows and appears too smooth to be natural. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Huh? I wonder why that. Could I shouldn't just murder the poor creatures, really, should I? There's no reason to kill them. Right. Access to the Shozo ruins was granted. Oh, I guess we own some Shozo ruins, huh? Who could have ever foreseen Samus going into a Shozo ruin? Not me. I never predicted that such things could be. Alrighty. Yeah, so every elevator has a scan at each end, which is worth grabbing. I'm most I'm grabbing a lot of these scans for completeness because Oh, data received. Abnormal seismic activity detected. Seismic disturbance at the ruins. This is the guide system, so if you take too long to get somewhere in the game's view, um, it will start to guide you. These pillars have collapsed from erosion. Carbon dating cannot determine the age of these structures. A new Chozo lore entry. Chozo script. The history of the Chozo stretches back into the ancient times, so far into the fog of the past that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing's clear, however, the Chozo who colonized Talon IV made a conscious choice to eschew a civilization of advanced technology. We Chozo choose to live in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our words from time to time. Oh gee, that's nice of you. Except it seems like, considering these are ruins, it looks like you're all dead. So that's the whole thing. Should probably change the lemons in my water soon. I've been there for a bit. Okay. This tree seems to be weakened due to cellular decomposition. Lovely. Ooh. Passageway to shrine. Uh-oh. I've got the beetles everywhere. Oh. War wasp pipe. Primary war wasp dwelling. 
Only vulnerable to heavy weaponry. War was built their home over existing crevices. Using whatever materials are close at hand, they carry building fragments back to the construction site with their forelegs and glue them into place with adhesives secreted from their abdomens. Gooey. I was a missile expansion, though. We can't get to it. There's an energy tank there as well, and we can't get to that neither. Not yet. Okay. Stones have fallen from the walkway above. Yeah, they have, haven't they? These branches have been intertwined, forming what looks to be a bridge. Yeah? Not that we can do very much about it right now, but... Oh. Scarabs, exploding parasites that embed their bodies in solid rock. They think nothing of sacrificing themselves for the safety of the swarm. When a hostile life form sighted, they block its progress by embedding themselves in floors and walls, and embedded scarabs violently self-destruct when threatened. So basically, if we run into them, they're going to blow up. Although we can, just, we can just shoot them. We can just shoot them in the chops. Uh, ion. Immobile organisms entirely composed of ocular tissue, capable of launching sustained energy beams when active. The ion is sensitive to light and will close shut if a bright flash ignites nearby. Well, like shooting him. To destroy the eye, we wield a gun. Chozo text. Many long years have passed since we Chozo first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief of many Chozo sages that the truths of the universe hide within the tumbling currents of time slow. Even as we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other unexpected places. We know not how the ability has come to us, but recently many Chozo have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burgeoning harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps, finally, the universe's secrets are becoming known to us. Okay. High concentration of poison in the tree leaves. What could be causing it? Elevated toxicity levels in tree bark. Something's poisoning this stuff. Ornate wall hanging with a reflective surface doesn't look important. Structural weakness in a sandstone block. So sandstone blocks. Structural integrity metal is stable, no flaws. Sandstone blocks you can destroy with um, uh, beetles. We're gonna have to we have to fight them. I was, I was trying to do a run by, but. Ah, oh, war wasps! I hate them. Airborne insect equipped with a venomous stinger capable of shearing steel. The war wasp registrates from far from its hive unless it's pursuing an immediate threat. It attacks with no regard for its own survival, dive bombing its enemy with stinger extended. Fast working toxins from the stinger can incapacitate most small organisms. I mean, they're very weak. They're just annoying. That's the that's the only thing with them is they're they're just annoying. Uh, right, what's through here? I think that's the way we need to go. But let's just have a quick peek up here. Save station. We'll jump in the save station. Because I like saving frequently. And the thing is, if you die in Prime, then you can lose, like, legitimately so much progress. It doesn't have... I mean, I think in the, all the years I've owned this game, I think I've died a grand total of, like, three times. I don't think Prime's a particularly difficult game on the base difficulty. Crafted in honor of Talon's star. Huh? Okay, so there's symbols that say Chozo on there. Same with that. Oh, look at the little leggies. They're cute. Right, okay. That is Tangleweed. Plant life of basic sentence retracts into the ground of threat and dangerous to small organisms. Covered in tiny bubbles designed to trap potential meals. They lack the strength to do anything more than hinder us. Okay. Small tunnel leads back behind the wall. Opening is approximately one meter. We can't get through there without a morph ball. Stress points in brimstone wall. That brimstone you can blow up missiles. Sandstone you need bombs. Ah, we, we need missiles to get through. Okay. So I guess we're going this way then, huh? Whoop. Ooh! Hello. 
Plasmites, small insect capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Plasmites are attracted to sources of heat, thriving on the energy present there. They emit light when hunting and will expel small bits of thermal energy if they're threatened. How about you expel this? Whoop. Whoop. Ooh, warning sign came up just then. Ah! Drainage possesses traces of high level toxins. We're about to do the first boss. Elevated spiritual plumb, but functional. I say the first boss is. I mean, it depends if we count the, uh, the Parasite Queen. I never really count the Parasite Queen in the bosses just because it's so easy. Mechanical device appears to be inactive. Life forms within the hollow of the machine. Apologies, I'm sniffly, by the way. I took some uh, damage to my septum piercing, and it's kind of like my nose is very snuffly as a result of that. It's probably why I'm sneezing a bunch as well. Oh, God, excuse me. Okay, so blast shields, you need missiles to do. Uh-oh, what's going on? Time for a boss. enemies. Oh, he almost had me. So we want to kill that war wasp. Well, scan it first, actually. Because these ones, you can only scan now. Ram war wasp, airborne predator, circles and strikes. Only species to evolve a true hive mind. Nesting in damp dark places. They emerge in small groups when threatened. and circle at high speeds. Disorienting the prey. Striking from all sides as a single intelligence. They can fell huge organisms. Right, we shoot that now. Did we finish scanning it? This device is missing a high frequency signal. It might be a cause of the swarms. Yeah, so basically we want to we want to kill as many of these war wasps as we can. Ow, took a bit of damage there. Okay. We can probably kill some of these kids just by spamming fire. Ow! Didn't want... Come on! Oh. Get, I'm still getting used to this uh, control scheme, to be honest. It's much better than the original vibes. one left. There he is, he's dead. Right, we got one more swarm to kill. Oh wait, no, we done it? We did it, we killed it. Nice. Sweet. Victory is ours. And that will give us the missile launcher. Guess what that does? You're never going to guess what that does. Launches missiles, right? Whoop. Oh, thank goodness I also chose this up here to give us stuff and things. Okay. Is the device inactive now? Oh, oh god. Oh, there's a. Yeah, it's just fallen and made a, an exit. Well, it's offline now. It can't heck us anymore. Oh, an energy tank. Sweet. Gives us uh, an extra 100 energy. Restores our energy to full as well. So we can't get back there yet. We will be able to, just not at the moment. Right, well, let's go back this way then. We can head back to the... Uh, Head back to that room with the um, blast door. Get through there next. Oh, I see. If you're not locked onto them, they just go absolutely crazy, do they? Oh, get dumped on. You're on blisters. Now. Time for a little lesson in Prime.
what we do, we're going to kill these blast caps. And then we'll shoot this wall. So like I said, brimstone walls, um, you shoot a missile into them and it will blow up. Just blow, blow them up. You get through stuff that way. It's a good it's a good thing to know what blows up what because that way you can start unlocking, um, you know, like hidden stuff. That map's so sweet. Let's get the map. Beautiful. It's a pretty big area. So the next place we want to go to is uh, that's where the boss of the area lives. Right, that's the boss room. So the next place we want to go to, uh, from memory, is oh yeah, we want to go over here now, like this area. That's the next objective. Let's go, and we'll be able to get the morph ball over there. For a second, I thought that was an ion. Petrified organic mass that looks like rock carved into the shape of an ion. Yeah, it's a petrified ion. Oh. Uh, sorry, lads, can you please die? The AI went a bit screwed up, didn't it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Sorry, guys, can you, can you please perish? You really, really irks some bugs. Alright, there we go. We can't get to that yet. We need the morph ball and the bombs to get to that thing, so... Uh, we'll Bezza save in quickly, right? We'll Bezza's a save in. Okay. I'm honestly astounded how good they've been able to get this game looking like. Considering this is a Switch game, and the Switch is considered maybe not the most graphically advanced console. This game looks astonishingly good. Like it's so pretty. Oh wait, no, no, we don't want to go there first. We want to go. We want to go through the first blast tunnel um, in the main courtyard. That's where the that's where the morph ball is. Uh oh. Right, watch this. We can just miss off uh, a bunch of kills on him. I do love touches like stuff splattering onto your uh, visor. That's pretty cool. Ha! Multi kill. Ma -ma 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 Monster kill. Okay. So we go through here now. Oh my god, we killed we killed that entire swarm almost in one one cheeky little shot. Except that one kid who just spaffed on us then. Whoop! Okay. Yeah? We're good? We're good. Right, through here. Magnetic rail system detective. Spider ball is required to access the track. Spider balls are returning item from uh, Metroid 2. Which actually I've got access to, it turns out. So we're going to play that at some point, no doubt. Blue orbs are simple light sources. Multiple fractures throughout the sandstone wall. Like I said, we can't do anything with that yet. There's the morph ball, and oh, there's a wave beam door up there. Right, in we go. It's a boss arena. Of course, it's a boss arena. Who could have foreseen this? Right, scan that wall quick. The retraction means I'm not known. This is basically a beetle's nest, huh? So you see I'm just trying to splash damage to kill them. Where's the... Where's the big bad beetle board? Uh-oh! Oh, he's a big pig. He's a big pig! I mean, it's a boss right now, but these are just normal enemies throughout a lot of the game. Plated beetle, well armored burrowing insect, vulnerable only in the rear abdomen. Creature's thick cranial plated can repel frontal attacks and gives it an advantage in combat, letting it make ramming attacks. Only surfaces when it takes vibrations, maneuvers itself so as to always face its rival, keeping the abdomen um, hidden. 
You have to wait for him to charge, basically. Yeah, I need to... I think I just need to blast him with a power beam. Come on. Come on, what are you doing? Fight me. I should really try and pop a missile into them. There we go, he's dead. Get fucked on. Nice. Easy peasy. Alright, let's go. Whoop. We become a ball. Stand back, chat. I'm starting to morph. It's morphing ball time. Hey, you see what I did there? You see what I did there? <laughs> alright, alright, I'll behave. And as before, we should. Oh wait, no, we need this do we need the space jump to get the I think we need the space jump to do yeah, we need the space jump to um do the spring ball. Okay, I didn't realise that. <laughs> right, well let's go anyway. We've got access to many more regions now. We can get to more stuff. And I like stuff. Like, is stuff not central to the very concept of these games though? Sorry, Beetle, but I don't have time for you. Good day. Uh, now, we can't get to there. We could go around... No, we can't get there at all yet. So which way do we need to go? We need to go this way. We do need to go up and over this bridge then. All right, let's do that. I mean, I say that as if I've not very recently played this section, but I do also have the memory of, like, an absolute twit. So, you know, please bear that in mind. God, having right stick aiming on this, like, even if I use the lock on much more frequently, having right stick aiming is so nice. There's a missile expansion over there that we want to get to. We can't get to it. I think we need the... We need the space jump to get to that, or possibly... Uh, possibly the grapple beam? Oh, hello, lads. Ready to have a wiggle? Ha, ah, nice try. Ah, I played myself then. Alright. Okay. Chozo Law. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceeded our expectation. We chose have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when the power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison, as it has already spread seeping into the planet and hardening. Fountain is choked by overgrowth with high toxin levels. I see, so if we use just the if we use the beam. These kids have a bit of a time of it, huh? There's a missile expansion over there. We can't go through the metal work. We, we can't even scan that. Uh, so we need the spider ball to get to that. This is useful for my main playthrough. Well, my, I say main playthrough. My off stream playthrough. Because I'm seeing stuff. So, oh, yeah, I can come back and grab that. Nice. Nice. Water analysis shows unusually high toxicity. We don't like that. Time of prophecy draws ever closer. It is said that when the plants wilt and the creatures change and all life fades, the newborn will descend from the sky. That'll be Ridley, I suppose, huh? Terrain analysis. Toxic levels near 90% in local water supply. Grim. Is there something there? There is. Lethal toxin levels recorded. All waterborne microscopic life forms eradicated. A hundred percent extinction rate predicted for local ecosystem within a three cycle period. Jesus, that's not good. Oh, we can't go through there. That's the wrong way. There's intense heat readings. We can't go through there because we ain't got the Varia suit. Alright, this is not the way. You guys are respawned already? Oh, hi then. We need to go this way. Oh, these dickheads. 
shriek bats territorial ceiling dweller body temperature peak at 121 centigrade they have high internal temperature making them easy to spot with thermal imaging they roost on cave things while hunting for small prey they dive on anything that wanders near so basically they, they just hang there and then they'll just do a suicide dive if they see you what an amazing what an amazing evolutionary strategy flawless 10 out of 10 okay tree Vast portions of the tree cellular structure have been consumed by toxins distributed through the source water. Analysis says there's a runic symbol there. Hmm. This runic symbol has been activated. We'll come back to that in a bit, I suppose. But uh, Reaper vines, rock dwelling tentacles. A single eye keeps a constant vigil, but it's limited to 10 meters. A scythe like a pendulum is stupid zone to lethal sharpness. It'll swing it wildly at anything that enters its zone perception. It's the tentacle from Half Life. It's literally the tentacle from Half Life, but. Oh god. Ow, 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 ow. Oh god, that poop wall is really damaging. Whoop. The same thing, the exact same thing happened um, on my off stream save as well, where I just ran into the Reaper vine like an idiot. That's where we're going next. Uh, we want to actually let's hop up to the bridge. We can't go through that way just yet because it needs the morph ball. We ain't got the morph ball yet, so we're gonna go this way. Nice try. Is there anything I could scan in here? Nope, it's just pipes. All right. We do a little pipe going through. Good day. <laughs> All these missile doors, and we're just, uh. We just don't even care. Just bez on through them easy peasy. I think the next things we want to get, we get the morph ball and the charge beam next? No, we got the morph ball, it's the morph ball bombs and the charge beam. I think we get the charge beam first. Alright, let's go this way. Is this the way? Oh, sorry, lads. They died. Toxicity levels are elevated. Analysis indicates proximity to source less than 300 meters. That which fouls the water seeks the sun. The great poison comes from Talon's core. Toxicity levels critical. Contact with contaminated water extremely hazardous. Well, I found that out when I got knocked into it. Thanks, Chozo. You're really helpful. Whoop. Ah, it's this room. Okay. So this room, we need to find some runic symbols, but there's also a scan that we want to make sure we don't mess. Whoop. Whoop. Right, so we scan that. Large metal gate blocks, and we uh, need to scan runic symbols. So the first runic symbol is there. We gotta activate the others. Trace sediments indicate water once flow here. I'm glad it doesn't no more. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Host plant thrives on toxic water. So wherever that shit's coming from, it's that that plant is what's causing all this trouble. Because we're gonna have to kill it. <laughs> and it's flagrant disregard for life as we know it. Ah, you see what I did there? Great funny, mate. Ow. I actually did that on purpose. I went into the poop water so that I could uh, get to the other cells. So that runic symbol's on. There's one over there. Okay, we've got one left to go. And I think it's down here. Yeah, there we are. There we go. Doors open. Well, doors unlocked, I should say. Gate is unlocked. I'll grab the missile. Extra ammo is always nice. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Plug there. Whoop. 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 Okay. We're doing a jumpy. Yes. 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 Okay. And then over here. 
Whoop. Uh-oh. There's ions. Ah! Charge beam. And another lore entry. Disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague dark foreboding, and then it became truth. A meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the violence of its impacts. Its destructive force spent. The fallen star burned itself out rapidly, and the instant should have faded into memory. But the meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst, burst forth into the land. A strange energy that clawed at natural life with a ferocity. That strange, negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to encompass Talon 4 in a night as a spider weaves a web. Great analogy for aliens using spiders. Alien spiders, we hate to see it. Whoa, my neck. I hope we didn't hear that chat. Wow. Right, we got charge beam. Sweet. The ions are now awake. Hello. I think the purpose here, because of the old control system, was it used to be you were supposed to um, use the charge beam to knock a bunch of them out in one go, but you don't need to anymore because of the fact that the uh, the game has um, right stick camera control. You just don't need to anymore. So the charge beam technically is optional. Spider aliens. We don't like that much. We definitely don't like spider aliens. What we like is spider waifus, like Rakner and Isan. We sit for her. And then we can use the charge beam to draw in power ups, which is pretty nice. The other thing that's good about the charge beam is it has a splash radius. So if you're running low on missiles, you can use the charge beam to uh, basically do what a missile would do. The only thing it won't do is it won't go through a um uh -oh. the charge beam will not go through uh, a blast door i feel bad for those aliens i'm watching this explode into a ah oh, fell i missed time i jumped there. watching the aliens just fall into this shower of meaty alien giblets is kind of grim it's especially bad when you get into further areas of the game, so like you can actually blow alien heads off. Literally just blow their heads apart. For a Nintendo game, it's pretty violent. Whoop. Okay. Sorry, lads. Well, they tried. Ow! I ran into one! It did contact damage. Right, okay. Well, sorry there, lads. We can't get across to that. We need to go this way. They all died. I laugh. Get the scanning on that item, actually. What's that, a 10? Five rounds of ammo. Ooh, Stone Toad. Preys on creatures smaller than itself. Uh, vulnerable only from within. Stone Toad is able to remain still for days. It preys on creatures smaller than itself, inhaling them whole. Anything it finds indigestible, it regurgitates. And they use their tusks as a last resort in combat. I don't think they do. They will swallow you if you're in the morph ball, and they just kind of spit you out after it. You can bomb them to blow them up, but you can only do that when you're inside them. It's pretty grim. Right, okay. Ah! This room. Alright. This is a boss room. So we've got to be a bit careful here. So that's the... This is the boss? Yeah. We can't do anything against this just yet. We gotta wait for the lid to pop. There we go. It's gonna send out some war wasps. We wanna scan these because you can't ever... There's some enemies that if you miss them, you can't ever scan them again. 
And these are some of them. Ow, 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 ow. However, they will drop health power-ups if I kill them. Whoop! Die! Uh-oh, that nozzle's pointing right at me. Whoop! Whoop! We killed it? Not yet, it's still not dead. Why the Chozo left this here? Why have they done it? Birdie dickheads. Flapping cock ends. That's what Chozo on. They're just flappy dickheads. Ow. Go ah, there we go. Killed it. Nice. That wasn't so bad. It's dead. Boom. Lovely. Okay, we got the North Pole bomb. The hive is destroyed. All of its inhabitants have been exterminated, preventing regen. There's a lock on the door. You can't get through there. Give me some health. Give me some food. All right, nice. I think it should be realistic for us to like get to uh, Fendrana in this stream. But I'm pretty sure we can get through. We can probably get through Flagrant. We can probably get to like not just the next area, but the area after that where you got stuff to do. You don't go into Magmore to do very much in the first go through. Right. So was this as far as you got when you played? Boop. Whee! Dum 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 dum. Okay, we got that. Ah, we'll scan those because uh, completeness and all that, right? Okay, back down through here. Whoop. Yes, the incinerator drone is dead. We've got the awful bomb. Oh, except I pressed the wrong button. I keep on. I think I keep pressing Y because I think that Y was the bomb. Uh, sorry, Y was the attack button in Dread. I think. I might be wrong with that. Uh oh. Ah! Out! 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 The poop water. I fell in the poop water. And it hurt. It hurt my delicates. Back through it this way. I mean, we can regen off these kids easy enough. So, yeah. yeah, the next the next step is we're going to go fight Flagra. So get the first boss of the uh, get the first proper boss of this game done. The way that I categorise bosses is if it has a health bar and it's after the the first opening section on Orphean, then it's a boss. If it doesn't have a health bar, it's just a mini boss. I think that's a pretty fair system. But there's a few major bosses in the game. There's a few minor bosses. Not so much... Um, not so many major bosses. There's a fair few minor bosses tossing about. Hello there, Tentacle. Right, so we need to scan that symbol again. For some reason... Oh, it's activated. Yes, it's on. For some reason, if you come back into this room, it de it's deactivated when you come back, so... Get that now. Oh. Uh-oh. Waspies. Ow! Sir, do you mind? Give me that. Yes, we're gonna bomb through this way. Right. Make sure that you stick to the walls when you do this, otherwise you're gonna just drop off into the poo water. Now, is there a runic symbol nearby? Um, so war boss will rebuild their nests if you give them a chance so you don't want to let them do that that symbol's on ow sir well they're all dead anyway oh look at that Venom weed. Poison spike that retracts into the ground is threatened. They evolve to thrive in the habitats of large organisms, lure prey with brightly coloured leaves, then detain it with tiny bulbs that deliver a powerful toxin. They rapidly de decompose anything that succumbs in their midst. We hate- Ow! 
Yeah, like that. They, ba they It's basically like walking through poo water. Right, so we're going to go up here now. Uh, is there another symbol nearby? There's one there. I can see. I think there might be one more left. Oh! Overwhelming toxin levels have rotted all leaves. Lovely. Uh, there's a runic symbol there. There's one left. Uh, it might be... Oh, yeah, scan the door before it's all open. Decorative gate is obstructing passage. We need to scan all of the runic symbols. We've missed one somewhere. Um, walls appear to have been constructed with extreme delicacy around tree limbs. Now, it should be easy enough to spot the missing symbol because it will just show up as bright red on the scan visor. Uh, I'm just trying to remember where it was. I should know this. I've only done it yesterday. Like, I played through all the Prime content that I did um, on my off-stream save just yesterday. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, there's a water skin there. Toxicity is critical. Don't touch the poo water, is basically what that's saying to us. So we won't. Let's go back up here, maybe. I'm trying to remember where that last symbol is. There's one there. There's one here. There's one at the very bottom, which we've already scanned. I kind of feel like we should drop down and check here. Just for the sake of safety. Whoop! So is there a symbol down over here somewhere that I've missed? Ah, I found the bomb wall, sir. No, don't do that. Don't see one. Where's that last symbol at? It should be really obvious as well. Like it's probably going to be in a very, 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 very easily spotted position when I go back up. So there's that one there. Right. There's that one there. Whee! Whoop. We d ball. Oh my god, the damage they do on contact is pretty ludicrous, actually. I shouldn't have done that. I should have actually just blasted them first, but I got kind of... Uh, I got a bit cocky there, huh? Unless the symbol is actually up here all along. It could be. No, that one's active. Um, hold on. So we got that one. I think we've, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got that one. We got uh, one up here. Where's that last symbol got to? Surely I'm not gonna. Surely I'm not gonna struggle at this part, huh? Yeah, we scanned that one. That one's on. Um, that one's on. Where's the last symbol at? Head back on over. It can't be far away. Right, there's one there. Right, so we scan that one. Is it on the tree again? I don't think it can be. Of all the things for me to suddenly forget. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. Right, the door's open. That means we can go fight Flagra. Flagra's a delightful little boss. Oh, my model twigged out a bit there. I tweaked. The uh, cocaine hit me a little bit too hard, huh? All right, all right. Let's uh, let's do and jumpy. Ooh. Okay, up. Right there we go. There we go. Streamer brain happened. That's my excuse, and I'm going to stick to it. Right, okay. Hmm. There's a, there's a structural weakness in the, the sandstone wall, so we bomb it. I love the fact you can see Samus's eyes reflecting the visor. But that's always been a great touch.
Right. Ow! Go away! Let's eat the uh, missiles. Let's eat the energy. Yum, 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 yum. Right. Flagra, let's go. Have you fought this thing yet? Pretty straightforward, boss. You can't hurt it directly. Oh, God. That is a flag or a tentacle. Come on. Come back. Uh, Flagra, mutant plant is a source of toxic water from the ruins. Its growth cycle has been radically accelerated. As a result, it requires near constant exposure to solar energy to remain active. Exposures made its outer shell thick and durable. Its lower root system is unprotected and vulnerable. Um, concentrated fire will daze it for short periods. Like this, watch. Oh, we knocked the mirror out. And it, it'll fall down. Go boom. Okay. Bomb slot. Now you got to make sure you get these quickly. Because if it falls over and you don't bomb it, it'll do a big sweep across the entire area to punish you. Grim. Jump around this way real quick. Get knocked over. Right, which way is he going to fall down? I'm going to go this way. There we go. Blup, 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 blup. Okay, so far so good. Quick bit of hydration. Actually, what we should do, we should go from this side. Boop. Get knocked out. It's gonna fall down the ladder. Oh, can we go around it? Yeah, we can go around it. Oh, his face is horrible. Boom! Nice. Handy hit, your morph ball moves quicker than you do. Like, if you're walking, your morph ball is faster. Oh, he's back. Sir. Got all of them? Yes. Right, let's go. Quickly now. Quickly. Get fucked. Right, there we go. Easy. Red. And that means that the poo water is now no longer poo water. It's just water. We could drink it. We could piss in it if we really wanted. Oh, I kind of feel like the power suit probably has a function to deal with that sort of thing. Why am I even considering this? 
That's the various suit. Can we scan anything in here? We can't go that way. There's vines choking it out. Yeah, network of vines is invulnerable to weapons fire. So basically, the, the plant we were able to easily kill, but the vines, no, 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 no. The devs don't want us to go back that way, so we have to go to the various suit. Because vines are impervious to space lasers and stuff. Right, first suit upgrade. Let's go. Woo. The Flagra fight is pretty fun. But as far as bosses in this game go, you know, Flagra is always kind of... Well, it's easy, but that's because I know the boss fight inside out at this point. You know, I've done it like once, 20 years if not more. Okay, we got the various suit. We can now go into dangerously hot places. Ah, the water is now free of poison. We can just jump into it. Go for a swim now. This is a pulse bomb boot, life form of raw energy. Periodically releases explosive segments. It's invulnerable to most known weapons. Electrical energy will harm them. They lack intelligence beyond instinctive attraction to charged energy, and they constantly produce energy. Anything that they produce, uh, which is excess, is shed, regardless of what's nearby. So basically, it will bomb the area underneath it every now and then. If you get caught in that blast, you get to actually see through my eyes for a minute. Great fun, that. Wee! Uh oh, wasps! Die! Okay, they're all dead. Hmm. What's this? Oculus, wall crawl generates electrical devices. It exposes its single eye when active. The electrical field is enough to determine its predators. If it detects anything capable of presenting a real threat, it retracts into its impermeable shell. And that gate has four runic symbols to open. There's a cordite wall, which is slightly cracked. Cordite, you need um, super missiles to breach. We're quite a long way away from those yet. Okay, that's the Magmore Caverns North Elevator. So just to just to confirm, it's worth us going this way first though, because there's an energy tank over this way that we want to get to. It looks like our, our glow is slightly... Oh, no, we have got the spring ball now. So I guess the spring ball comes with the various suit then. Well... Okay, it's a puzzle here. Missile expansion. These metal gates are blocking entry to the room. Oh, look, some bomb slots. Well, there's not bomb slots here, but there are bomb slots around this side, I think. Yeah. Second of three locking mechanisms. Third and the first locking mechanism. Huh? Well, there... Okay. So we go in there. We bomb it. That'll open it. Honestly, the spring ball makes this so much easier. And this one, we kind of want to go... No, we need to... Like that. And that gets us a missile expansion. Very nice. We're going to be coming back this way in a minute. I just want to get that energy tank because it's very useful to have. As It's always useful to have absolutely as much energy as you can at all times. For obvious reasons. Chozo Law. The future is a vague thing, ever changing and always in doubt. Even if we Chozo could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift for we could never hope to control what is yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. 
The day may come when this water dries up and there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this, unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of the Chosen will never run dry. And that is foreshadowing. And if you know, you know. All my homies hate Chozo ghosts. Without fail. Okay, so we go through here. Energy tank. Beautiful. There is something else we could get um, whilst we're here. But it would be kind of a pain in the... Yeah, it would be kind of a pain in the ass to do. Although that said... That said... Actually, I think it's worth us going on a little backtrack. Because there's a bunch of stuff we could actually get access to now. Um, I think it'd be worth doing. Yeah, we need the grapple beam to get onto that one. Alright. Morph it. Morph it. Whoop. Whoop. Whee. Notice how we take very notably reduced damage. Um, what with having uh, the old Varia suit on. Come on, that way it is. One charge, one death. Okay, we get a missile expansion. Beautiful. And again, as you can imagine, it's just really useful to have as much stuff as you can, as early as you can. So if you know where to find stuff, it's almost always worth going for that stuff. The more stuff you got, the better your survivability is. And, you know, the more firepower you can have as well. Um, makes bosses a lot easier too. Alright. So we're going to go back this way. Run away from the BTL. So we need to go back down through this way now. When we get the boost ball, these tunnels are even faster to reverse. Just stick the boost ball on. Go for a Go for a zoom. Absolutely tatey down the corridors. Die, war wasps. No, they're not going to come out. Excellent. I love it. Right, so I'm going to go and get that missile because it's there and it's basically free. Right. Ah, but we need to bomb. We need to destroy this first. Boop, boop, boop. Ball ventures. Nice. Uh, we should probably save there as well, just to make sure that we've got a buffer. I don't anticipate any problems. I certainly don't anticipate having any sort of struggle on this stream, but... Famous last words and all that, right? Famous last words. Alright. Oh, I'm surprised how sunny it is today. Like, my monitors are actually... Like, there's enough light coming in through the, um... The window at the minute that, um... It's actually almost a little bit painful. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's helping my tracking out quite a bit. But at the same time, it kind of hurts my eyes. You foolish creatures. Alright. So, ah, there was a, a Morph Ball tunnel here, wasn't there? Let's see what's down here. Missiles. Beautiful stuff and things it's always worth exploring in these games like there's so much good stuff that you can just find in unexpected well it's not unexpected if you know where it is but a lot of this stuff you know just be like I wasn't expecting such just to be sat hidden like it is there. so yeah we need to go back to um, where the hive totem is and then we can go around the transport access to get back to the um to get back to the uh, the elevator again. Okay. God, this game is gorgeous. I know I've said it several times now, but I just cannot get past how good this game looks. 
This is this is probably the best looking Nintendo game I've ever played in my life. Subject of, um, in terms of other Metroid-based um, stream and contents and whatnot, um, because obviously I've got access to Metroid 2, that's on the cards. At some point, I'm probably going to have a look into the um, the expansion for Switch Online. That will get us access to Fusion and eventually Zero Mission when it comes to um, the program. I'm kind of tempted, and I don't know if Nintendo are going to get pissed off at me for this, I'm kind of tempted to play uh, AM2R, another Metroid 2 remake. It's a fan remake of Metroid 2 based in the... Um, based on the Zero Mission engine. So basically what they've done is they've taken Zero Mission they've made a game out of it. Now, I, I've seen a lot of people who have done streams of it semi-recently, but at the same time, I'd really rather not anger Nintendo, so I'm kind of tempted to see if they've got like a policy on it or anything. Right, welcome to the Magmar Caverns. There's a safe station here. We won't worry about that because we've just saved elsewhere. What's this? That is a Grisby subvolcanic carrying feeder. Carapace can be breached by missiles. It's fused together by superheated air. The barrier stands up to everything except concussive blasts, and its intelligence is limited to scavenging patterns. Well, it doesn't seem to have intelligence limited to anything else. I killed it. Nice try. What's this? Burrow, a tunneling insect predator, similar to the beetle, spends more time underground, seeks seismic disturbances, and then services to attack. Has enough cunning to realize when something's too large for it to handle. Beyond that, it's fairly ignorant. What it lacks in brains, it makes up for in aggression. Oh my god, my wife's on roasty toasty tonight. Welcome to the Magmore Caverns. That lower Norfair theme that they've remixed to it. Beautiful. Uh oh. Magmore, fire breathing serpent that dwells in lava. They prefer extreme heat zones, they're susceptible to frigid attack forms. They're blind, they navigate using sonar receptors, they've got a keen sense of smell, letting them point, pinpoint targets with start and accuracy. How about you pinpoint this? You see what I mean? Its head just exploded. Ah, these bastards. Huffers. Unstable gas-filled organisms, ruptures on contact. They fill their bodies with lethal metavitrium gas and float about in search of food. If ruptured, the gas is violently released. Despite the fragile bodies, they're aggressive hunters. The cloud they release on death is often fatal to the creature that brings them down as well. So basically, don't they, they will generate lethal blue clouds. We don't want to fuck up with these chuckles. You can, if, if they're close enough together. That mag was there. Oop, run away. Scan? Yeah. Goodbye. Which room is this twin? This is lava like. Is there a Magmar in here? Yeah, the Puffer's Death Cloud does a lot of damage. Ah, ha, 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 ha. This room. Okay. Triclops. Hard shell creature with powerful jaws. It's a hunter gatherer. It collects small creatures and bits of food and deposits them elsewhere for later consumption. Uh, the tripartite mandibles are quite strong and difficult to escape once it's snared. Basically, what you do is this you drop a. Oh, I've, I fucked it. You have to put a bomb into their mouth. Like that. You have to feed bombs to them. 
But they are kind of annoying. I mean, you can bypass them later on relatively easily. Which room is this? The Triclops pit. I think there is like some stuff that you can do in here, but I don't remember exactly. Should we have a look? Is there a way to get down into the, where the Triclopses are? Or do we have to come in from another side? I can't remember if there's a way down. If there is, I haven't looked at it off on my off-stream save. Ah, there. There's a tunnel that leads in um, from somewhere else. So we can't get into the Triclops pit itself. Ooh, an ultra energy. Nice. Oh, can we get in through here? We can get in through here. Let's do it. Come now, Samus. Into the into the pipe. I can't remember. I think there's an item near the end of this area. I can't think what it would be. Probably an energy tank. It's almost always energy tanks for stuff like this. Let's have a look. Ooh. Okay. Where are we now? Oh, there's a missile expansion. Just a storage cavern. So all we got for that was one lousy missile. But that's kind of dildos. Alright, well, you know what, I'll take it. I'll take the missiles. You know, they're useful. Like, they're universally useful. Right, is there a way back up through there? Um, no, there's not. Alright, right, we need to go back up this way then. Hopefully the puffers haven't all respawned, because that would be kind of annoying. Whee! Nice. Okay. Ah! It's steamed on. Yeah, here's the, here's the way. This is the way. We want to very quickly go up these platforms. These platforms dip if you sit on them too long, which we don't enjoy. Ah, puffers! Go away! With your poopy gas clouds. Oop. Workstation. Almost looks like those pirates. Almost looks like pirates live here. Hmm. Geothermal plant? Ah! I went to the boom cloud. Alright. Well, I don't think there should be any more turrets around. We gotta wait now for that poo cloud to dissipate. Oh, thank you. Whoop. Bum, 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 Report any signs of magma predator activity to Security Central at once. Okay. Local crystal formations possess low phase on residue. They do have high value to the monks of Grondheim, however. Recommend processing the crystal for that market once phase and operations cease. Geothermal power routing to the station is complete. Unstable magma flows are conserved. Remove tower from geothermal grid if fluctuations exceed safety levels. Immersion pistons are leaching power from the magma pools as planned. Geothermal power source is promising. Recommend energy command deactivate central dynamo and switch to geothermal power at once. Very good, what they said. Oh, good grief. Sorry, my eyes were watering all of a sudden. Ah, now. 
there is. I think I think there's another way you can get into there. I don't remember quite where the. Uh... Oh wait, no, it's there. Okay. We want to be careful here. Nope, that's not it. Ow! 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 Oh god, no. Let's let's fuck that up for the minute. I mistimed that so horribly. And, like we look how much energy we lost. We lost almost an entire tank to that. That was very nearly death by misadventure. Let's not fuck about with that. I don't want to die on stream in a game that I never die on. Right. Deeply embarrassing that would be. I see where I went wrong though. But at least I can see where I don't know. Is this I completely mistimed the bombs? And then I tried to jump out the lava rather than uh, rather than using the bomb to get out. So yeah, mistakes were made. Oh, excuse me, man. I think I need to sneeze again. Oh, grief. Ugh. Ah. I structure blocks of the hall. Use a missile to destroy. Now, welcome to Fendrana. Probably my favourite area in the game. Listen to that music. Beautiful. Grating is brittle from temperature fluctuations. What's this? That is a crystallite. Territorial code about the scavenger. Shell reflects beam weapons. Can be cracked with a missile. They hang upside down in an ice cage on the larval stage. Moisture runs off the body to form the shell. And it retains that for the rest of its life. Which is not going to be very long with me about, let me tell you. And that's a flick about. A scavenger with optimal camouflage that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Um, Flickabats are deceptive. The only way to track them is with X-ray imaging, and they fly ceaselessly, hunting insects and other small prey that float on the air currents. And they tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar to navigate. They fly in a circle, and if we get too close, they'll hit us. Okay, there's a gas-based propulsion system there. Good grief! Excuse me. I'm really sorry about all this snuff. Work. Okay. Oh, there's a lock on that door. Blast shield is secure. Shield controls are somewhere else. Somewhere else like that. Door directly above is on the locks. Okay. Yeah, that was the problem in the lava. Because you're movement is hindered when you're uh, when you're in any sort of liquid until you get the gravity suit. Maybe wait till the gravity suit till we get that. Ooh. Scams. New personnel should report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalised by a 30% ration cut and extra duty. I think these space pirates are lovely. Western Temple in Phase 2 lockdown. All projects are postponed under no circumstances for personnel to attempt access. Wonder why? All ballistic support personnel report to Research Lab Hydra. Lockdown containment plan 3 ain't effect until further notice. Some bad stuff's going down. God, excuse me. I'm really sorry about the snuffling. It's all just come on all of a sudden, but... My poor septum piercing is not doing so great today. I shouldn't have popped the tunnel out. That was my first mistake. I need to replace the tunnel, actually, because it's kind of old. Um, it'll be DJB. Right, we can go through that door now, so let's do that. Boink. Ah, these dickheads. Scatter bomb boost. Bomb, uh, pulsing tendrils of energy extend from the creature's body. Uh, they can only be harmed by electricity. Proximity may result in electrical visor interference, and it's possible to avoid engaging them by rolling into the morph ball and going between the rotating energy streams. Now watch this. I'll show you something in a second. 
Ow. You see that fuzz? That's how my vision is all the time. Great fun. <coughs> Excuse me. Baby she -gots. Glacial predators. Ice shells protect the vulnerable dorsal area. They grow a resilient shell of ice on their backs, which protects a layer of vulnerable flesh. Um, they'll turn quickly not to allow predators the opportunity to strike at their backs. They fire, burst of cold, and then feast on their frozen victim. How about you feast on this? They only take one shot to the back to kill them. Once their shell's on, what, like two or three shots, maybe. They're not very resilient. He's dead. He looks like a little Koopa. Like a little Koopa. A little dead Koopa. Anything in here to scan? There's an item somewhere nearby. You can that sound, I'm pretty sure means there's an item around. Somewhere over there. Or it could just be the noise that the power suit gives off. No, it's definitely louder now. It's like it's underneath us. Maybe we need another visor to be able to find that. Huh? All right, let's go. Whoop! Ow. Oh, ice burrows. Burrows in uh, sub-zero sub climates. They've adapted to the frozen climate of Fendran. It's spent most of its time tunneling through frozen soil, but will occasionally come up to have bathe. Sir, please don't come on me. You know, I'm just gonna run. Nice try, Cockens. Okay. We're now up here. Oh, it's a missile expansion up there. Okay. Whole bunch of pulse bombers there. Right. These things do a lot of damage if they hit you, so it's best just not to get. Yeah, you can just shoot them anywhere. As soon as their shell's off, you can just pap them. I'm sure they don't mind, really. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, hello. Berg bite. That's Pokemon. Hold on. Okay. As the Great Poison reaches ever further into the planet, we chose to begin to feel the noise of despair. Before it is too late, we now make our last stand. We have begun to build a temple to contain this darkness. At its heart, we will place a cipher, a mystical lock powered by twelve artifacts and filled with as much power as we Chozo can harness. We wonder, though, even when we are done, will it be too late? And will the power of the temple, the cipher itself, prove strong enough to hold back the poisonous tide that even now swells within the ground, threatening all life? Um, I mean, probably not. You're all dead. So, you know. Right. We can't get through that as a wave beam door. We can go this way. So I guess we're going to be railroaded down this, down this path. Huh? Oh, I know what we're going for. I remember what we're going for. Welcome to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Ow. 
Propulsion is insufficient to support full power suit weight indefinitely. I don't know how much Samus weighs in the power suit. I think that there's there might be something that says how much it weighs. The power suit is heavy. Like it's it's a I mean it's basically like full powered Spartan armor. So, you know, it's it's enough to probably make planet fall from orbit. Boost ball. Yeah. Oh baby. Sweet. Now, you see this? If I die before I wake, at least in Metroid, I can skate. Whee! You, you can get some real speed with the boost ball. Uh, there's a Chozo lore entry in this, which we want to just go back for. Whoop! 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 Can we get all the way up here just with the ball? Yeah, we can. Sweet. Nice. I think the next thing we want to go for is the uh, space jump. Space jump in this game is just its just a double jump. Okay. So many creatures suffer beneath the blight upon the land, and we chose on no exception. But for all our pain, we can at least believe in the promise of the future. We have come to believe that a time may never come when we can once again open the door and banish the darkness we've contained. Even so, our vigilance will remain forever. We believe that on some far-off day, a saviour will come and continue what we have begun. For that saviour, we will leave our ancient weapons and armour. The soul who can gather them will be the entrusted one, the only being who can reverse the evil that grows here. They've given us an excuse to find... just to find shit, and... You know, they've just given us an excuse to Metroidvania. Oh, I suppose Metroid Metroid in this case. Yeah, you know, we Metroid without the Vania in this game. Ow! While we were demorphing, he came and just like smacked us on the butt. Don't like to see that. So you might be noticing as well is that certain enemies, um, whoop, ow! Certain enemies um, have preferred output for like drops so some enemies will drop missiles more frequently um, I'm just going to run past these Shigoths okay wait 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 ah little cutscene <gasps> it's Ridley one knobber. Well. So now we want to go back to. Um, we want to go back to the landing site and get ourselves the space jump. That's the next big upgrade. I might see. Um, I might see about giving that um, that whatever was in that tunnel that we kind of fucked it in I might see about giving that another once over it's like see can I get that there might be an energy tank up there and if there's an energy tank up there I want it and I want it sooner rather than later we're just going to be real careful that we don't die getting to it I mean maybe what we can do is maybe we can use the um so we can jump up there. Jump up now. Can we? Can we jump up there? Put a bomb there. Oh yes, we can. Yeah. Oh, there's an energy tank. Oh, don't do that. Nice. Excellent, that was well worth it. That was well worth it. Okay, oh god, the sun's coming into my eyes. Right, there's no easy way to get down over there, so we won't try. Not 
yeah, anyway. Good day. Ow. Yeah, some attacks cause a stun state like that. And if you're stunned, then um, you you basically you will well, it's not stun, it's a stagger. But if you stagger, you can't attack for a brief second. Which, as you can imagine, is kind of annoying. Honestly, the spring ball being in this game is so good for quality life. Ah! Stress factors in the Bendesium frame. What's that? <gasps> that! That is a charge combo. That's the uh, ice spreader. So, charge combos. Um, how do you summarize a charge combo? So, y you get. You charge up. And then you fire. You hit your fire missile button. Um, and what it does is it will use whatever beam you currently have equipped, um, plus it will use whatever beam you've got equipped, plus whatever missiles are in your pocket for it then. Um, and it will then bez out a massive attack. Good day. The way the head just blows up. No, thank you, Mr. Triclops. Which room we had? Oh, fiery shoes, alright. Anything over here I ought to be aware of? No. Nope. Just these flaming cock ends. Don't fly into those because I'll push you into the lava and that's not much fun for anyone. Alright, through here is. Oh, the way the head just explodes. So grim. Right, okay. Down here now. And we now have an elevator to Talon Overworld West. So the map starts off quite limited in terms of where you can go. Uh, ah, we'll open we'll open that. Um, on the map, just for a minute. That's an important route that we will be taking a lot of later, but not right now. Not right now. Okay. God, I love this game. It's so good. It's just so good. Everything about this game is just amazing. Why? Take that. Oh, I, almost, I thought I got stuck for a sec there. Ow! Please don't game me. Wait, no, you're not game me, you're Azuma. What is love? Don't DMCA me. Yeah, I should probably stop saying before I get struck, huh? There's life forms below the surface, but I'm going to run away from you, because, you know, bye guys. Now listen to this. The OG Brinstar theme remix hits so hard. I missed my chance to scan that plant. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back through here at some point. Can we scan on a... No, you can't scan on a destroyed sap sack. Alright. So, you see what we're going to do here? Ah! There he is. Gamers, wall crawling moles with retractable spikes. They're an evolutionary offshoot of the zoomers. When threatened, it extends lethal spikes and retracts its head deep into the armored carapace. Right, let's go. Wah! Wah! It's an advanced... Yeah, exactly. An advanced zoomer. Imagine... Imagine... Imagine the power that would confer on... Um, uh, the zoomer rat. Right. Imagine if, if she became advanced. We'd have no chance. Yeah, we would have to we would have to become cheese to meter. 
Oh, no, that's just a... That's just a yeah. Down through here, then. Okay. This brings us to... Where the ship is. Oh, fancy that. There is a way that you can... You know what? That's very true. I mean, what the fuck even is a glitter butt? It's when you put glitter on your butt. Apparently. Right, this is the space jump. And basically... The space jump just gives us a second jump. We can't jump indefinitely. Okay, space jump boots. There we are. So where's the... There it is. Anything else we want to scan in here? No. Okay. So I think now we want to head back to... Um, yeah, we want to head back to um, the Fendrana Drifts again. So we're pretty much just going to go back the way we came to, to get back here. We'll save here, though. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my... Not knowing what um, what a pager was, I felt that in my soul. Like, in some of the some of the zoomery memes, I was just like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just like, what does this even mean? Uh, while we're here, can we get around to that door? Yeah, should we... Should we do some lore? Is it round here, I think? Yes. Yeah, down through here. Oh, enemies. Um, seedlings, plant-based ground feeder, dorsal spines can be ejected in self-defense. A kami hammy ha A kami hammy ha Oh. I mean, in some ways it's probably a mercy not to be exposed to Goku's JP voice, huh? <laughs> I can't deal with it. I can't deal with Goku's JP voice. Okay, this is the impact crater. Pirate data. Log 10.308.0. Field team reports are in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon 4. Studies show this subject uh, structure projects a containment field. This field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a number of strange shows or artifacts. We found some of these relics and studies on them have been done. As this field can hinder future energy production operations on Talon 4, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the shows or artifacts, it will be done. Okay. Through we go. Right, this is the temple. Chozo Law. Throughout our living nightmare, as we battle with this unyielding darkness, we chose to see a light. This light glows with promise, chasing the shadows cast by the great poison and purifying that which has grown toxic. It is strange, though. At times it looks to our eyes as if the light coalesces into the figure of a woman. Burning brightly, the luminescence descends from space, then retreats back into the infinite blackness from whence it came. When this prophecy comes to pass, when the light recedes, the Chozo's long vigilance of containment will finally have come to an end. Okay. The containment of the Great Poison. This task has fallen to the Chosen. We will not flee from our duty, even as we suffer with the land and its creatures. We will pour our will into the Twelve, the artifacts which form the lock that holds this great evil at bay in the depths of the planet. This lock must stand up to all who might come to assault it. To preserve the power of the seal and to protect it from those who would meddle for their own designs, we will spread the artifacts across the land, hiding them from prying eyes. The lock must never open until the day comes when this disaster can finally be put right. Very good, what they said. Right, this is the impact crater. We can't do very much here yet. I'm coming here for lore reasons. This is a Chozo artifact. Collect it, scan the surface here for clues in the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, they will open a path to the, the center of the impact crater. Basically, we grab these, and it unlocks the final area where Metroid Prime itself lives, where we can punch it in the face, I suppose. Can we call it a face? Yes. Anyway, 
This is the Artifact of Truth, the first of twelve. Scan the surface for clues on the remaining artifacts and they will open a path for us. Okay, we got 19% of items in the first stream. That's pretty good. Right, so we got some of them lit up, not all of them. Okay, in Wallen Talon's far corners, a grove of life lies. Reveal the pillars beneath the waves. Yeah, I'm going to just scan through these very quickly. They're just clues to where stuff is. Right. They're just clues to where stuff is, so... Um, not all of it is particularly useful. Okay. There we go. There's another one. Some stuff... We, I mean, there's a treasure hunt at the end of the game. And that's that's where a lot of people complained about it. I thought it was pretty good myself. I didn't mind it. But basically, you go, you have to go back through um, past areas to track down the remaining artifacts, right? And yeah, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing. But I didn't think it was too bad myself. I genuinely didn't find it too bad. Um... I mean, there's kind of always been that sort of thing in Metroid games. Like, if you look at um, Super, for example, you know, I, I mean, you don't necessarily have to go around collecting keys to unlock the last area, but you do have to kill all the bosses before you can get to the last area. So, you know, in a way, their lives are keys, right? If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's purely because bezing about like that is the fastest way for us to move around. I took too much damage there. I, I took a lot more damage than I wanted to doing that. Not my best move, but what can you do? Kill these kids for easy pickups? Well, an easy pickup. Just the one. Not more than that. Kind of sucks, whatever. Uh, okay. Let's head back to Magmar Caverns then. Go through. You can kill, uh, you can kill gamers if they are unaware. If they're retracted, I think they're invulnerable. But you can pop them with a missile pretty easily. Oh, look at that thing! Any cute blood flower able to eject toxic spores. They're po the toxins are poisonous even to the blood flower. Uh, three mouth nodules protrude from the stalk beneath the flower with a rudimentary brain cluster and the ability to spew toxic fumes at anything close by. The spores eject from the stigma at the centre are sufficient to kill this creature if they explode in the vicinity. Or I could just pop one of them and blow it up like that. Right, nice. Let's go. We can't get up there yet. We don't have a grapple beam. We need a grapple beam to get over there and go up around that way, so we won't try that. Good die, beetles. Bump their dead. Yeah, we head this way. We want to go back to the... Uh, we want to go back to the Magma Caverns. Then we, we're going to head into Fendrana. And we're going to go fight um, another boss. Alright, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry about the snuffling. I'm so sorry about the snuffling, chat. I swear it's not how things normally are. Maybe it's hay fever. I mean, there's quite a strong possibility that my wife has uh, just scored um, a full-time job now. Which, obviously, is... Ah, that's pretty mega for obvious reasons. Um, but if she has done, I'll be able to afford to buy hay fever medication again. Which, i got to say, I'm kind of like... I'd be kind of glad for. Can we just go this way? Ooh! Oh, 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 God, oh, God, oh, God. I haven't gone this way on my off-stream save. What? Where does this take me to? Is it, it's going to be a missile explosion or something. Something like that, isn't it? Precision platforming, yeah, there it is. There we go, got it. Nice. Right, we can 
can go there, and then we should. Just about. Took a bit of damage, but it's fine. Okay, through here. Yeah, so Bendesium, we need uh, power bombs to blast through that, so we can't go through there yet. We can't get the ice cream. I mean, not. Why would we get a beam charge combo so early anyway? Yep, good stuff. Oop. Pop them. Deploy the poo clouds. Now. They're dead. Nice. Get dumped upon. Oh, I thought he was going to hit us then. Can I not? Yeah, there, there we go. Right, back up we go. Wah. Wah. And up we go. Okay, back in Fendrana. Let's bezel over to the save point. I feel like I need to sneeze again. Oh, good grief. Here it comes. Oh. I'm not enjoying it. I, I think when I get paid, the first thing I'm going to do is get a new plug for my nose. Good grief. This one is just turbo bollocks. Wait, is that even a word? Turbo bollocks? It is now. Alright. So we saved that. And then we're going to go into the uh, temple up top. Can I missiles, please? Thank you. We can kill those things at a missile profit. Right. They drop more missiles than we will spend on them. Usually. Right, and then up here. That goes into Bombu Land, doesn't it? Okay. We don't want to go that way just yet, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we want to go... No, maybe not. I'm pretty sure... We need to get up there. Right. Can we get up there around this way? Like I said, I only did this yesterday, so I should really know this. Yeah, this is the way. Cordite statue is weathered. There's a power conduit behind it. So I think we can get up there if we have that. Ah! No, thank you, Zappy lad. Right. Statue depicting a Chozo balancing the plane of existence on his hands. Oh, there's a sh oh, baby she goth. Ow, sir. Oh yeah, you can you can jump over you can literally jump over she goth with the space jump. Let's pop them like that. You gotta feel bad for wildlife on any planet Samus lands on. Just kill stuff all the time. Ice Parasite, scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Their hardy creatures able to adapt to an environment within three generations. Ice Parasite is adapted to a frigid climate. It thrives in it. Omnivorous. It, um... I mean, basically, they crawl up and down the platforms and cause problems for us. In short. Anything else here that we want to get scanned on? No? Yeah, see, we can fill up our missiles on them. There. All on all missiles. Give me those. Thank you very much. Okay. Statue depicting a chosen philosopher. Flawless. 
Statue de uh, depicting a Chozo warrior, also flawless. Depicts a shaman. Stress fractures, made of brimstone, can pop a missile. Chozo architect, another flawless statue. The statue's hands are frozen in place. There's a shell of ice encasing a water basin, and the water originated from the statue's mouth. It's having a great vault now. Chozo shaman is adorning that door. Symbols carved into the forehead. Translation reads, To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. A single symbol sells all that. Well, okay. Far be it from me to gain the mystical verbs. Okay, there we go. Is there anything I can do here? I think I, I will probably need the plasma beam to get through that. So you can use the plasma beam to melt through ice stuff. Um, we are nowhere close to getting that yet. So, right, uh, I remember this bit. On you silly babies, let me kill you without any repercussions. What could that be? Uh oh, mummy's here. The graphical glow up on this enemy is actually phenomenal. She got supreme predator of the Fendrana drifts. She got through invulnerable to most beam weapons, a crystal in their back and absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. They got poor stamina, they hyperventilate after using the breath attack, making the mouth vulnerable. Soft uh, underbelly of She Goth is vulnerable to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel blasts of frigid gas to their targets. They're also fond of ramming and trampling prey. What you gotta do is this. Judge that. If you're wondering why I'm doing the uh, reload canceling, you just put out so much more damage if you do that. Come on. That way in. Ma'am. What are you doing? Come on. Yeah, if you fire too many beam weapons, you see that little glow around the top corner of that. Both dead. Get dunked. Get moidered. De oh, delicious. Right, give me that wave beam. So we now have another beam weapon. Something I might do is... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I've already got a uh, missile mapped. Well, that sucks. Okay. Wave beam. Fires electrical bolts. Kind of a low rate of fire, but I would argue this is the most useful beam because the charge wave beam homes in on targets. Got to be careful, though, because the charge wave beam will also suck bombos into you if they're nearby. 
So you don't want to use it when they're around. Watch this. I'll show you what I mean. It pulls them in. However, you can just one-tap them if you do that. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty useful. Like, there's a lot... Of, the wave beam has uses external to just killing stuff as well. Like, there's power conduits that will need to open with it. That will come into play uh, next stream. So for the moment, let's head to the safe station, because I'm going to call it that just because I'm getting so snuffly that um, it's going to start becoming a problem for you guys. I don't want you to see just to hear me being all snussy and horrible for the next half hour, right? Alright, safe station, there we go. Right, cool. That's done. Let's pull across to the chat room. There we go. Is there something on my head? Is there something on my head? I don't see it. Well, anyway, that was fun. And that game is a lot of fun. Like, honestly, the primary master is just so good. Um, just... No, wait, you can't see what's on my um, what's on my Switch right now because I've turned it... Yeah, because I've turned it off. Well, what can you do, huh? Anyway, next stream, tomorrow evening, we are playing Tiberian Sun Firestorm 1800 BST. Um, as always, I hope I'm going to see you there. I've had so much fun with Prime Remaster. If you're thinking about getting it, just do. Just get it. It's so worth your time to play that game. Right, it's one of the best games of all time, and seeing it glowed up like this is just... Mm, I'd love to see it. love to see it. Anyhow, I'm going to go. I'm going to go relax. Is that? For a second, there was an icon that came up on my Twitch thing. I thought it was Mustache Vellum, but I don't think it is. That would have been... I would have raided him if it was Mustache... If, if, Villain Dono was about, I would have raided him in a heartbeat, but I don't think any of my um, buddies are online right now. Uh, no, I don't see anyone. Oh, well. I'm going to see if there's a plugin for OBS that tells me if, like, friends are streamed. Just that way, if I can if I can do raids directly from OBS without needing to boost up Internet Explorer, that would be lovely. Anyway, tomorrow, 1800, Tiberian Sun. I hope to see you there. In the meantime, take care. And enjoy the rest of your day, whatever time that be for you.